Hey, good morning. Uh, I'm very excited to be here. It's been a great opportunity so far to learn um, and also a chance to really talk about Kata containers. So I'm going to kind of take a risk here where I'm going to provide a bit of motivation for why we do Kata containers. So I'm going to make you guys all experts on what is a container. It's not a magic box that's solving all of the world's problems. It's just a mix of different key pre-existing Linux kernel features which are leveraged together to provide process isolation on a system. So let's talk about that. First and foremost, our namespaces. So this feature is leveraged to isolate applications. So using namespaces, nothing to do with containers, just happens to be used by containers, we're able to give applications a view that they're the only ones existing on the system. They can only see their own network devices. They can only see their volumes, their process trees. So using this, it's, uh, it makes it look like they're the only ones on the system. Next, let's talk about control groups, C groups. We need to avoid a situation where imagine our process B here is using all the CPUs on the system. That's kind of providing a suboptimal experience for everyone else trying to use it. It's kind of acting like a denial of service. So control groups commonly are going to be used here. And what it does is it allows us to really throttle or limit the amount of CPU, memory, or I.O. that a process can execute. So another key feature. On top of this, a well-configured container solution is also going to limit what a process is allowed to do. I think it's pretty pragmatic that process C should not be able to say, hey, can you reboot the system? Um, that's not a great opportunity for everyone else. Um, similarly, leveraging seccomp, you can limit what syscalls is a process allowed to execute. So on top of this, usually you'd have something like a mandatory access control if you have like a well-configured, secure container solution. And this would be something like SE Linux or AppArmor, again, further limiting what you're allowed to do and protecting. So combined, these provide a really good amount of isolation. This is just, again, best practices using containers. Having said this, I consider this kind of all one single layer. They all use the same single interface, and that's the host Linux kernel that they all share. Um, and when you're looking at defense in depth, it's really common. Uh, the like, design pattern would be that you want to use multiple layers. So if you have a secure conscious solution, you would be using defense in depth. And that's kind of what we're looking at with the Kata Containers project, is to provide that second level of isolation, utilizing hardware virtualization. So with Kata Containers, each container or pod executes within its own lightweight virtual machine using its own unique kernel. While we continue to leverage the same core Linux features that I've described already inside of that. So really, it's not that you know, we say we're the speedy containers with the security of VMs. It's, it's beyond that. It's actually security of VMs with the security of containers as well. So before, when thinking of virtual machines, I would often think, OK, gigabytes, minutes, you know, how is this really going to work? Um, our work in Kata is to provide an optimal and minimal virtualization solution, providing footprint and speed that's comparable to what you would get with traditional containers. Really, there's no need for us to wait for the floppy disk drive when we're trying to boot your container workload. The Kata containers are so different. Um, Kata containers itself is OCI compatible. That is just like Run C. Kata containers can, can integrate with almost all the container orchestration systems, such as Kubernetes and Docker and also OpenStack Zone. Actually, we are, we are a member of the OCI. And over the last year, we, we have welcomed many additions from um, <coughs> in both in contributors and in architectures and in features. We started from x86, then scaled to IBM, ARM and uh, AMD soon. And also, we, we got, got many contributions from NVIDIA. Similarly, we, we got many contributions from uh, software and service companies. In short, the community is healthy and growing. Currently, we are at version 1.3 and with uh, 1.4 coming very soon. And excited to have add capabilities which are very important to our users, including hot blocks and enhanced, uh, enhanced tracing technology. And also going forward, uh, aside from improved hypervisor efficiency and performance, we are looking at 
such as the enhancing, enhancing security and life upgrade capabilities, which, which is very critical, critical features for the production usage. Uh, in this week, Kata up, upstream developers provide many sessions. And uh, my topic uh, is about the Kata containers and divisor. Uh, it will be held in this afternoon, not 11 AM. It's 2.30 PM. And, and, and also after that, uh, we have uh, we have two we have two forum after that uh, in about uh, I think that's about four uh, four twenty and five five ten and that's about uh, two forum forums about the POC and the uh, and the uh, and the container uh, container isolation it's a philosophy problem and tomorrow tomorrow morning. Uh, at 9 a.m., we have a we have a forum about the Kubernetes, Kubernetes integration. I, uh, Eric and I will be there, yeah. and after that, all the upstream developers uh, will come to the uh, to to the session of the project update at, at the around 10. So, uh, welcome to come and ask us everything. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.